Angeles is the second most beautiful beach, in my opinion, on Maui, next to the Kapalua Beach, which is right on the other side of the point. Um, it's right near Kapalua, uh, of course, with the famed uh, uh, PGA uh, Championship Tour stop uh, at the beginning of the season. Uh, also, the uh, uh, Kapalua Wine and Food Festival. So you've got a lot of things that are happening nearby that will uh, draw people to your vacation rental uh, dwelling that you might want to put there. Uh, again, it is a very rare opportunity for uh, uh, an investor to, to build and uh, to put something up there. Uh, it's listed at uh, 985000 And I just wanted to mention that I went on to the tax records. Uh, the uh, county assessed uh, the value of the lot at over a million one. And uh, I think the most recent assessments that came out in the last year uh, are pretty good values as far as uh, what uh, property value are pretty close to the market value. So this one's priced well under uh, the county assessments. It's going to be a great deal. Uh, my uh, seller on that property is authorized me to tell anybody out there that he is very motivated to, uh, to sell it. So if you have any questions or uh, would like to inquire about a, a great opportunity for a commercial uh, property right there in the heart of uh, the Pele on uh, the lower road in the Pele place, uh, give me a call. You know, one of the greatest things there is that you are truly steps from one of the greatest sandy beaches in Hawaii, the Pili Bay. So that, I mean, when we have kids, grandkids here, we spend a lot of time down on the Pili Bay. We're going in and out of the Napili restaurant, the, what is the name? I, I'm trying to blank on the name of Napili Kai. Oh, the Napili Kai restaurant. The, the, there's the gazebo right down there. No, that's New Pili Shores. You're right. Pili Kai, the oh, 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 whatever. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Pili, right on the beach. We don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you go there, go to Pili Kai, and you'll find the restaurant. But, I mean, if you take your beach stuff, you could have a hamburger, sit up there for a little bit, go down to the beach. And it is one of the best locations ever. So I think whoever buys that lot can come up with a really unbelievable use for it. I mean, theoretically, you could do a small hotel. Yes. But how you do that and get enough parking to satisfy zoning is probably a little trick, but I think somebody could come up with something where they even do a little bit of underground parking, you know, or under the building parking, and then go up. Well, I mean, I'm not sure of the zoning, how, how it works, but... It's interesting because the owner, uh, uh, after he bought the property, had a couple of uh, half-day sessions with the planning commission, and he put together a nice little project that was actually four dwellings or four buildings uh, with, uh, I believe, eight parking spaces that utilize the land to its fullest potential. And so the interested buyer in there could, uh, I, I could take a look at that. I do have the, uh, uh, the concept drawings that he had put together uh, for the property. So those are available too. We need to take a look at that, all of us together, because one of us has got to have the person ready to do that. Yes. And, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, so that we're now, I think we've got to be almost starting to wind down. I've kind of lost track of time today. But let's see if we're on, um, we have a couple of interesting things at the Whaler on Kanapali Beach. If we're sticking with some of our um, oceanfront ideas uh, to come through this uh, and not drift off to the other side of the road, which we, we tend to always be talking about everything. And today we just kind of made a commitment to see what we could do to stay on you know, the properties that are right on the ocean. We've actually got a couple of things that are, one at the Whaler that's a one-half ownership uh, at a million one fifty. I think that's an interesting way to go. A 50% ownership. 50% ownership right. there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, go ahead, Case. Well, you know what, I was going to change the subject a little before we run out of time because I do want to talk about there's been a couple of things that have happened in the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, of course, uh, Hurricane Irene over on the East Coast, that's all oceanfront uh, stuff going on there. Our hearts go out to all the, uh, the, the victims that were uh, a part of that uh, hurricane, but it sounds like they're uh, digging out of that and uh, putting their lives back together. And then most recently in New Orleans, uh, there was a tropical storm Lee that dropped about 15 inches of rain uh, down in that area that uh, was so devastated by uh, uh, Katrina, Hurricane Katrina. And I just read in the newspaper this morning that... Uh, New Orleans is actually doing very well. They uh, All the flood uh, preventative uh, things that they did after Katrina have held up very well. And so uh, it, it appears that uh, that area of the country is going to stay nice and dry. So uh, that's really good news. I just wanted to mention that. 
you know, one other thing that we talk about off and on are the number of foreclosures that are happening in Hawaii. And I noticed in the paper over the weekend, I, I believe Maisie Hirono is working to find sources and ways that the people of Hawaii can work towards saving their homes. Now, I think that is, you know, as realtors, a, certainly a really difficult thing to be facing and to be seeing this happen to people. I think the lenders should be working more with the people that currently own the home and are in their home, you know, rather than do short sales and things to make it less expensive to give it to the next guy. You know, and I think that there isn't enough help for the person that's currently in their home. So I think that, uh, that there are things that are happening, and if you're all paying attention to that, you know, ask your real estate broker about different ideas, but I think mostly what you should be doing is trying to get help from anywhere you can to save your home. And, and I think that, that in Hawaii, people are beginning to pay attention and make that happen. Yeah, you got to get out and you ask for help. Uh, take some action. Don't, uh, don't lose that house. No. Here we're, we're winding down. I think we're less than a minute left, so I think it's almost time to say aloha and get ready for Danny Couch. Aloha. Aloha from Casey Fakuda, 264-5362, and Betty Sakamoto. Aloha. Thanks, Betty. Thanks, Casey.